guys Andrew here welcome back to Drew tutorial and if you're seeing the channel for the first time special welcome to you now this is episode 3 of make your computer faster and in this tutorial we'll be going over ways how to boost your processor speed or your CPU speed and make your computer run much much faster right so there are a few things that I'll be sharing with you within this video and this is going to be a spicy one. So you want to stick around and watch the entire video so that you can learn how to do this step by step. So the first thing that we will be covering you guys is our power settings, right? So you want to click the Windows key on your keyboard and simple type in control panel. You will open up the control panel and then you want to look for power options. Now click on power options. And then from here, you want to select the high performance power plan, then click and change power settings. From here, you want to click and the change advanced power settings. And then you want to look for where you have the option that says processor power management. So you want to expand that. And for each of these states, so for the minimum state, you want to ensure that both on battery and plugin is set to zero if you're using a laptop, right? And if you're using a desktop, you will want to ensure that whatever option you have there, which is a plugin, it is set to zero. Now, for the maximum, you want to ensure that if you're using a laptop or if you're using a desktop, both option is set to 100 here as well. Now, for the PC Express settings, you will realize that you have an option that says a link state power management. You can expand that. And you want to ensure that both of these or if you're using a laptop ensure that it's turned off or if you're using a desktop whichever option you have there most likely the plugged in it will say off so ensure that this is turned off so this is the first thing that you want to ensure in your power management setting that this is currently turned off now the next thing that you want to do guys is to simply go ahead and click the windows key on your keyboard and simple type in gp edit right you will find the group policy here you want to edit that group policy now once you're here let me go ahead and maximize this so that you can see and let me expand the side here so that you can see what's under the panel so you want to look for the option in the list that says administrative template so expand that and then from here you want to expand system and from here you want to look for power management so you'll find power management in the list you want to ensure that you click on that you will see an option in the list that says power shuttling settings you want to double click on that to open that you will find it and you will see that it's turned off so you can simply double click on this and you will see the option you can simply go ahead and enable it so you can click on ok or apply just simply go ahead and turn that on and this is the second thing that you want to do right so ensure that you have this turned on guys now from here the next thing you want to do is simply click the windows key on your keyboard again and you simply want to type in gaming you will see gaming mode settings you want to click on that on windows and you want to ensure that if you're using a gaming computer right you can simply go ahead and you can use the gaming option here and as you can see it says optimize your pc for playing by turning things off in the background so you can simply go ahead and enable this feature here and put your computer in gaming mode to boost the performance of your computer so keep that in mind if you're playing video games you can use this feature and it will definitely help you to boost your computer performance right now next thing you want to do guys is simple click windows plus r in your keyboard and it will open up run from here you want to type in ms config so go ahead and hit enter once you type in MS config and this will open up the system configuration menu here for you. So you have the basic menu. Now the first thing that you want to do is under boot, you want to ensure that you click on boot then click on advanced option and from here you will see that you have number of processors. So under the number of processor you want to check this box and you want to look in the list and based on the highest number that you have there ensure that you click the highest number and then click on OK. This is going to allow your computer to use the maximum processor there that you have. So ensure that you put it to the highest so that you can use that for your computer here. Now, the next thing is that you want to head over to services and you will see the option. I know some people say you need to hide all Microsoft services here, but you don't want to do that. You want to leave it expand so that you can see what is there. And you want to actually go through the list guys to see some of those services that you don't need. So as you can see, I have a bunch of services stopped there and while some of them enabled. So you can go through the list to see what are the services that you don't need on your computer 
and you can simply go ahead and turn this off. So go through the list, see what you don't need, and you can easily go ahead and turn off those services. And another way how you can find your services is by simply doing it from the task manager. So if you right click anywhere in your taskbar, go to task manager, you will have the option that says services as well. You can click on that, you can maximize it and you can find different services. So you can simply go ahead and go through the list here to find different services that you no longer need. I want to say be careful of those services so you will see the ones that are important to you and the ones that are not important to you, you can stop them. So for example, if you don't use a printer on your computer, you can simply type in spooler or spool and you will find a print spool. You can simply go ahead and you can disable that. So I know if you don't have a printer at home and you don't use a print, your computer to print, you can simply disable services such as this one by simply finding it and just simply click and stop. Now there are many different services and if you'd like to learn more about the different services that you can disable, I'll be putting a list of those different services that you can stop in the description of this video so that you can know what kind of services you can disable that is not necessary for you. So I'll compile a list of those different services here in the description of this video and you can basically go through them and you can disable them if you don't want to use those as well. So guys, these are some of the ways how you can definitely improve and boost your computer processor and also improve your CPU seed to ensure that your computer run much faster and much smoother on your Windows PC. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.